In this video, I'm going to be, well, you probably know by the title by now, but I'm going to be trying to power an RC car with some of these Ryobi drill batteries. 18 volt drill batteries. Uh, these are lithium. And I'm hoping they'll be able to deliver enough amps, but I guess we're going to find out. So what I've got set up so far is I've got this. This is the handle off of a uh, an old tool that didn't really work anymore. Well, it did work, but I didn't have any need for it. I got it for free, so I took the handle off this old tool, soldered this uh, XT60 connector on. So now I've got my battery um, adapter holder power thingy. <laughs> Um, so I've got that, and then I've got this, this is actually an airplane ESC, uh, so not ideal, so you won't have uh, reverse and brakes and stuff like that. Uh, this is just one that my dad had, and I figure I might as well give it a try. Um, and if it works, then I'll get a proper car ESC. I think I, I just noticed I actually soldered the wrong connector onto the battery, so I'll have to change that out real quick. The motor I'm using, I got this from Hobby King. This is an 810 kV motor. It's like a no-name brand. Uh, it's, I mean, it's really hard to turn by hand, so it's hopefully going to have a lot of torque. So it's basically... Since this is a 5 cell battery, 18 volts, most traditional motors won't be able to take that voltage. So you have to go with a lower KV motor to make up for the high voltage. And what the KV means, if you don't know what the KV, when I say 810 KV, what that means is the KV stands for RPMs per volt. So this motor turns at 810 RPMs per volt that's put into the motor. So 810 by times 18 is, I think, somewhere in like the 25,000 range. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I had done the math a little while ago. But... It should work pretty good. It should be pretty close to what uh, what comes stock in cars as far as RPM go. So I'll get that connector changed and we'll give it a test run. Here I've got, I think, everything I need. I have a smaller battery here for just testing it. Uh, let me get it all hooked up. Yeah, we'll go from there. So, I've got it to the point where I think I can plug it in and hopefully nothing bad happens. Okay, so... And because it's a, an airplane, uh, RC airplane ESC, I have to hold the throttle all the way in, and as I let out, it 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 uh, speeds up and slows down. So yeah, I have to get in, get a, a proper car ESC if I think it's going to work. Seems like it's working. I'm not sure if it's just me or not, but it doesn't seem like it's spinning all that fast. But it could be. And it's also it's also just from sitting here running it like that, it's also getting slightly warm to the touch. Um nothing, I mean it's not hot or anything, but I don't know. I guess there's 
not really anything else to do but to put it in the RC and test it out. And I'll show you which which RC I'm putting it in. This is the one that I'm going to be using. This is my Turner G Trooper. I have a couple videos out on it. Um, running video on 3S2. And this is the one I'm going to try to convert to battery powered. And the way I'm planning on like mounting the battery, uh, I think I'm basically just going to kind of lay it in here and just strap it in for now. Um, if it does work, uh, if it does work really well, I'll probably uh, end up buying a separate RC specifically for this. Um, I used one, uh, probably, uh, specifically for this battery system. Something that has probably just two wheel drive, something that's two wheel drive, that has a larger uh, battery compartment up front and in the middle. Uh, my old uh, ECX Ruckus monster truck that, that was two-wheel drive and it had a yeah it had way more battery uh, room up front than this thing does. So yeah we'll have to see and that's that's with the small ones as far as the big one goes. Um, Probably the same thing, just kind of, probably just kind of lay it in there and strap it on with a bungee strap or something, I guess. But yeah, like I said, if it does work, I'll I'll get a different RC just for this. I'll be making another video here before too long, hopefully, of it running. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for a running video at some point.